Understanding Adhesive Capsulitis Frozen Shoulder Explained Welcome to today's video where we demystify adhesive capsulitis, more commonly known as frozen shoulder, a painful and often disabling condition that affects shoulder mobility and quality of life. What is adhesive capsulitis? Adhesive capsulitis is a condition where the shoulder joint capsule becomes inflamed and thickened, forming scar-like adhesions that restrict movement. It can develop spontaneously, primary, or after trauma or surgery, secondary. The condition is typically progressive, affecting about 3-5% of the general population and up to 20% in diabetic patients. What causes it? Although the exact cause remains elusive, researchers describe a cascade involving inflammation, followed by fibrosis. Genetic factors, autoimmune diseases, diabetes, thyroid disorders, and even Dupuytren's contracture have been linked. The condition usually affects adults over 40, with a higher prevalence in women. Natural course, the four stages. The disease often follows a pattern. Stage one, painful phase, diffuse shoulder pain, especially at night. Stage two, freezing. Gradual stiffness begins with ongoing pain. Stage three, frozen. Pain subsides, but stiffness persists. Stage four, thawing. Slow improvement in motion, though not always complete. Histologically, these stages evolve from inflammation to dense fibrotic tissue replacing the normal capsule. Diagnosis. Diagnosis is mainly clinical. Key features include progressive loss of both active and passive range of motion, especially external rotation. Imaging, MRI or ultrasound, may show thickened capsules and the coracohumeral ligament, but are mainly used to rule out other causes. Non-operative treatments. Most patients start with conservative treatment, physical therapy, especially stretching exercises, though too aggressive an approach may worsen symptoms. NSAIDs and corticosteroids help manage inflammation and pain. Oral steroids give short-term relief. Intra-articular steroid injections often work faster and better. Hyaluronic acid injections and suprascapular nerve blocks offer additional relief options. Hydrodilation, a newer method where saline and steroids are injected to stretch the capsule under pressure. Surgical options, for patients with persistent severe symptoms, manipulation under anesthesia, MUA. The surgeon forcibly moves the joint to break adhesions. Arthroscopic capsular release. This minimally invasive surgery allows direct visualization and precise release of the tightened structures. It is generally effective, although diabetics may have poorer outcomes. Open release, rarely needed but still an option for resistant cases. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.